So what is up? I wanted to um, do a little podcast again and I figured this time I would do some video to accompany it. Um, yeah, basically what's happened between now and the last podcast is we had a competition with our weightlifting team and that went really well. Um, we have some lifters that are, you know, I think are going to be breaking out onto the national scene in the near future. Um, and I asked some of those lifters, what, what, what essentially would you like me to talk about on our podcast? Like, what do you think would be beneficial to the people that would listen to this? And one of the first things that came out of my lifters mouths was, um, longevity, which is, I thought was great. So essentially she's like, just talk about longevity. And it's something that I kind of bring up to my athletes on occasion when, um, it's mostly when they're freaking out about, uh, people they watch on Instagram and they're like, these people are way better than me. These people are this, this, these people are that. And you kind of have to reiterate to your athletes or your lifters, no matter what sport this is, right? They're watching professionals that have been essentially doing this for most of them, like seven to 10 years at least. Right. So these people, these weightlifters are in their, a lot of elite male weightlifters are in their late twenties. Right. And they've probably been weightlifting in a, some type or form since they were 10 years old, maybe a little 10 to 14 years old. And I've got lifters that we kind of started from the ground up that are, have maybe been, been in the sport for two years and they're doing very, very well. They're some are meddling at national competitions, um, yada, yada, yada. But they are watching these people on social media, right. And thinking, why am I not there? And then you have to remind them, um, excuse me, you've only been doing this for two years. Like if you could get as good as these people in two years, that would be kind of a knock on them, right? Because they put in so much time, they put in so much effort. And this goes with anything. This goes with weightlifting. This goes with um, field sports. This goes with bodybuilding. Um, these people that you see, they put in the time and effort even though you haven't seen it and they don't post it usually on Instagram or whatever. Usually it's something that is kind of behind the scenes or it was happening before social media was even a thing. So you kind of got to always put it into perspective and put it into terms and think, Hey, like, have I put in the same amount of work that these people have? And most of the time you have not. Um, and that's something that, is hard to get across to people and I'm going to get back to longevity, but what this brings to light is then these athletes are saying, well, I need to be doing more. I need to be doing this now and I need to be to this level by this time. I'm going to train this way. I'm going to do these things that maybe you're not really ready for. Right? So that's when you get athletes that get injured, they get hurt. Um, I'm not going to use names or anything, but for example, I've had an athlete that honestly, quite honestly, I was holding back. They, their mobility was, uh, inadequate, not great. And they had some issues going on, um, as far as tightness in their body. And they were still, I mean, still at a national level competing, happy, healthy. And we were working on the things that needed to be worked on. And I ended up losing that athlete to another coach and long story short, they're broken and they, within a year had retired from weightlifting and were injured three to four times. And it's just sad because it's like these people find the sport, find something that they like, and then they are thinking that they need to be good, get good so fast. And then they injure themselves. Right? So it's kind of frustrating. And when people want to push the envelope, I mean, there's a time and place to do it. Um, but there's also a very, very large time and place to put in the technical work to get reps and to just do, just do, you don't need to be doing anything crazy. You don't need to be 
training three times a day. You don't need to be doing movements that leave you injured the next day. Just progress, take time, and focus on longevity. And honestly, I I mean, I'm pretty honest with my athletes, and I'll say this as well. How many of you are honestly going to be elite athletes? How many people out there right now that are training, trying to push themselves like they're professionals because that's what they see and they are never going to make it to that level? And what they need is kind of a slap in the face and to be like, do you want to enjoy this sport for the rest of your life or whatever you're doing and be healthy? Or do you want to do it for like a year or two and burn yourself out and get injured and be done? And this even goes just fit general fitness. People will go crazy, right? Get injured or just get a distaste for it and then not want to do it anymore. And then they get horribly out of shape and basically they're stuck, right? So like the goal should be to have fun, get better, learn something from what you're doing, like life lessons. And be the 90-year-old that can go skiing or go on a walk or hang out with their grandkids. Like, that's my goal. My, I competed nationally in Olympic weightlifting. Like, cool. That was that was cool. But, I mean, I would trade every experience I've had to be on that stage or to play, like, sports or anything to be very capable throughout my entire life. I don't want to ever be like unable to care for myself like that's one of my biggest fears so um you kind of kind of sit back and look at your goals and think about time like you want to train in a way that is sustainable over time train in a way that's going to keep you healthy that's going to um keep you moving keep you strong through the later parts of your life and is there a time and place to push and and uh you know be focused on competition and and that stuff Yes, and that's for a very minimal population and probably not you. Like there is a very small amount of people that need to be pushing themselves to the point of breaking. And it's just frustrating to see with, um, you know, all the exposure on the Internet and stuff. Like all these people are trying to take what these elite athletes are doing and do it. And it's it's scary and people are getting hurt and people are not seeing the big picture, I guess is the best way to say it. Right. Um, see the big picture, think about down the road and think about, you know, what's right for you. Um, like what are your goals first off? And also if if you really want to be an elite athlete, I'm not telling anybody they can't do what they want to do. Right. But if you want to be an elite athlete, you're going to have to put the time in. And for most of you guys, it's too late. And it sucks, but you got to put the time in. So first off, don't complain when it's been a year and a half and you're not a professional beating people who have been doing it for 17 years. Like, I don't know. It's just naive to think that. It's naive to think that you can come in and be better. And then uh, on top of that, that goes with general fitness. Like, People will be like, why have I not lost 20 pounds? Why am, you know, why am I holding onto this fat? Why this? Why that? And it's like you get clients that come in and they've been doing poor habits and poor lifestyle choices for 10 to 15 years, right? And then they come in and they want to change that in, let's say, six months. And it's like, you can't reverse the damage you've done in 15 years in six months. Like you can probably like get away quicker getting, you know, in shape and healthy. And if you've been out of shape for 15 years, yeah, you can do that in four to five, like realistically three to five years. Right. But it takes time. Like it's not going to be six months. It's not going to be four months. It's not going to be two months. There's no special program, special pill, there's no fat burner. There's no anything that's going to achieve that for you. And that's where the fitness industry makes their money is these people are selling you bullshit scams that they're going to, you know, fix you in two months. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. Um, this pill will do this. And it's just, it's just a way for you to waste your money. You know, 
when there's a lot better way to be spending your money in a fitness category, um, there's a lot of great coaches out there. Um, I also run a service where for fifty dollars, fifty dollars, okay, you can have your workouts written, a video analysis, right, and your questions can be answered at any time, okay. That is a better way to spend your fifty dollars than spending it on pills and spending it on pre workout. And then people will complain and say, or say, I don't have the money for that. But really, you just bought a hundred dollar pair of shoes. You just bought, you know, fit, spent a hundred dollars on supplements. And it's like that fifty dollars would be much better to use towards a professional coach and someone to help you and teach you and um, kind of be there for you know, to, to give you somewhat of a feeling that you need to do the workouts that, um, they're maybe asking you, Hey, you didn't do your workout. For example, my, I email you, if you miss your workout, you get an email every day that says, Hey, you missed your workout. What's up? So there's accountability involved, right? Like that's worth more than $50. Okay. You're shit. I mean, how many pairs of shoes are you going to own in your lifetime? Like how much money are you going to spend on shoes or clothes or just think of the, whatever stupid bullshit you buy and you're not willing to spend that on somebody to help you take care of your body, which is you only get one body. You only get one set of knees. Like you only like do things right. Have a coach to help you do things right because you can't just go buy a new body i mean not right now maybe in the future who knows where it's going but you can't and people are willing to spend more money on this other bullshit rather than invest in themselves right and that's your gift like your body is an amazing thing and you are literally not willing to spend money on it but you're willing to spend money on all this other stuff and it's like where are your priorities really and what kind of disillusion have we created in the fitness industry to think like there's a $50 pill that's going to reverse your 10 years of damage? You know, it's kind of sad to be honest with you, but I mean, that's where we're at is everything's a quick fix. Um, everybody wants everything quickly and without the work. And I mean, that's what we're all about. My whole group at Hanson Athletics is like, there's no, there's no secret. There's no, I'm not going to promise you anything like you have to put the work in. I'll help guide you, but you got to work and it takes time, it takes effort. It's not easy. And if you fail, I mean, you fail and it's probably because you didn't do what you needed to do. I mean, it's simple. There's no special program. Like everything I'm writing you is, it's pretty basic like when you break it down it's just fundamental movements and it's like just do them and just get started don't like you don't need anything special to get started you just need to start doing the basics right if some dudes if some kid walks into my gym and says what's the best way for me to get big and strong like it's not going to be a protein it's not going to be anything special it's not going to be some oh you need to get on this special program It's like, yo, I'm going to point at the squat rack and say, see that rack over there? Everything you do with that barbell in that rack is what's going to make you big and strong. And that's what's going to help you with athletic performance, right? And there's a lot of different things that come with athletic performance. But another thing that bugs me is all these people putting out all this, like, super special secret drill shit. And it's like, no. Like, the athlete that's bigger, stronger, and faster is probably going to win, right? There comes down to like being bigger, stronger, faster, and then getting game time practice, game speed, right? So practicing your sport or your, um, you know, whatever you want to focus on, whether it's CrossFit, a field sport, you're an athlete, um, you're just an Olympic lifter, you're just, you like general fitness, like whatever. But if you want to get good at something, you're going to get good by doing it at full speed. You're not going to get good at by doing some weird drill in the gym that doesn't replicate game speed, right? Um, Like all these like 
football drills. It's like just get big and strong and go play football, practice full speed, like get coaching while you're playing full speed. But you need to be going full speed because if you're not getting those reps, it's not going to translate over to the field the way that you want it to. You need to get big and strong and fast, and you need to do and you need to play a lot of whatever you like to do. Okay, you need to you know, if you're a weightlifter, you need to weightlift a lot. You need to get reps, get reps, get reps. You know, and that's the same. I mean, it applies to everything. It's not something special. It's not a secret. Okay, and that's what that's what kind of gets me on a rant is I'm just talking about basically longevity, right? Longevity being smart and keeping it simple and that's what's going to help you there's no secret okay um that's the way it is and then another thing that bothers me since we're just talking about it is like people selling an image on instagram rather than knowledge and people are more willing to spend money on like if there's some chick in yoga pants and a tight bra like instantly that makes them like the smartest fitness guru on the earth and they're willing to pay them money because they want to look like them when really there's so many different body types like you're probably not going to look like them everyone's going to look unique but one thing's in common is like you can look at somebody and be like no matter their build no matter their body type like they're in shape like they work hard that's the way they're supposed to look like that's the way they look and everybody's going to be a little different, right? Everybody's going to have a certain look to their body type and build and there's not a lot of people that are exactly the same and when you try to buy into something that is making you look like someone else, I just don't think it's the best direction to go with your fitness and it leaves a lot of room to be disappointed in the future. Um, so that's something that, that bothers me as well. Um. Yeah, I don't longevity, and then there was another thing that was brought up. Um. Oh, yeah. So, some people were interested in, to know more about what exactly how I run my online programming, right? And uh, what it is is basically for fifty bucks a month. Um, you get an email every morning with your workout. And you can log into it and you can input all your information. You can upload videos directly into it. You can instantly chat with me. And um, from there, your workouts are in there every day. Um, we have contact. I comment on your videos. I give you feedback and that type of deal. And you'll get an email if you miss your workout. And occasionally I'll check in and say, hey, what's up? Why did you miss your workout? Yada, yada, yada. Um, the workouts can be customized to what kind of facility you're in, um, what your goals are, that type of thing. And then we have a community Facebook page where people will post, you know, achievements and can chat with each other and that type of thing. So I think it's an awesome, awesome service. I think it's an awesome deal. I mean, there's not a lot of services online that you can send a message to a coach and I I personally will answer it and I personally will give you feedback and that type of thing. And then we just came out with an awesome little gig with, um, I'm working with Caitlin Van Hoff, who's a pretty big, uh, influencer, fitness influencer. She's, um, very much into, um, yoga and we came out with a program together, an eight week program that's got your fitness. It's got three workouts a week with um, like a kettlebell or a dumbbell is going to be your strength equipment. It's all you need. There is a full gym option if you have access to a gym and that's what you want to do. And then two days a week, two to three days a week are um, customized. It's yoga. So basically she's leading a full yoga session and it's all on video, super easy to follow. And it's freaking awesome. Um, we just started our first round of people on it and it's been going good. So. That is something that's cool that's coming out. Um, I'm moving back to Idaho at the end of the year and opening a facility. And that's a really cool thing. I'm going to open it with my buddy Shelton. 
And I mean, it's going to be legit. We're going to have a couple platforms, um, nice bars, two power racks, a yoke, um, you know, the whole shebang, right? So it's going to be a cool deal. And we're going to have people that we're going to have memberships. We're going to have still do the online programming. We're we'll trying to grow there. Um, but a lot of big things coming from um, Hans Athletics. You know, and I just want to try to help as many people as I can and give guidance. I mean, the Internet's a horrible thing, but it's a great thing at the same time. I mean, I get to work with people all over the country that there's no way I would have been able to work with before, right? So it's cool that way. Um, yeah, so if you guys – I mean, this podcast, basically, I am working on <clears throat> getting to the point where I, I do want to have – people um interviewed so i want to interview people so if you're somebody that's interested in it and really really interested in it go to my website handsathletics.com just fill like an interest form um and we can get chatting about what kind of topics you want to cover what your special like what your expertise is um, what you want to talk about that type of thing i want to do business fitness lifestyle whatever like it can be something completely random just want to have good conversations and share them with people and um so if that's something you're interested in go ahead and just give me uh um your contact information we can do a uh, remote as well so even if you are not in the utah idaho area um i can set it up remote invite you in basically you can chat you just put your headphones in whatever and i can uh, create a podcast with that so that's pretty cool that's a good opportunity to kind of meet people in the fitness industry and you know help out there um if you have any questions again hansathletics.com um you can follow me on instagram at coach hansen and yeah i'm excited to chat with people in the future so thanks for tuning in i appreciate everyone that listens to these and i appreciate everyone that supports me again if you have any topics i'd love to chat about it i'd love to share my opinion on it um, so go ahead and just shoot me a message on either my Instagram, Facebook, or website, and we can get you all set up to either have your question answered or be on the show. So have a great day. Thanks for tuning in. I love you all, and peace out from Coach Hanson.